for months, I've been getting a warning message on my PS5, and today I'm gonna show you how I got rid of it. It was happening every time I powered on the system. It's a notification for Astro's Playroom and says, couldn't sync your saved data due to a conflict. It has to do with me being a PlayStation Plus member. One of the benefits is that you get to use cloud storage. I've never tried to actively use the benefit, but when I bought the PS5, it had cloud syncing turned on by default, which means it automatically saves all the stuff on my PS5 to the cloud as a copy. Everything is saved twice. One copy is on the system, and one copy is on the cloud. It's a good feature if you somehow lose your data on the system or you're forced to delete some of it due to lack of space. In my case, I have data for Astrobot in both places, but one apparently is now different from the other, so it's confused or something. I can get some details about the issue by going to Settings, Saved Data and Game Slash App Settings, Sync saved data and view sync status. This shows all the PS5 games I've played. Notice for Astro's Playroom, it says can't sync. If I select it and hit X, it gives a lot more detail about what has happened. Notice that both files have the same date, same time, and are the same size. So I don't really know how it could be out of sync. Maybe one of them has become corrupted or something. I have the option of disabling the auto sync, or I can choose one of the data files, even though I have no idea which one is the better file. For me, disabling the auto sync would be a better path. I have plenty of space on the system and have never experienced a loss of data. However, from what I read online, many of you have a lot of data and you want to keep auto sync in place because you fear losing some of it. So I'm going to select one of the data files so that you can see the process. Now, I don't care which file I choose because I don't really play Astrobot that much, but in your case, it may be very important to choose the right one because once you choose it it's going to override the other file so if you're not careful you may lose data in this process it would be nice if you could copy both of the files onto a thumb drive before doing the process just in case something goes wrong you can then go grab the file off the thumb drive but sony has made it hard to put save data on a thumb drive for the ps5 games it's likely to protect against hacking, and it's also likely they're trying to push you into using their cloud storage so they can get more plus memberships. I did find one way to put game saves on a thumb drive, but it comes with a lot of catches. If I go to settings, system, backup and restore, and then insert the thumb drive, and then select backup your PS5, it started examining the drive and it took a while, but I'll speed it up here. Right now it thinks I'm trying to back up all my data, including my downloaded games, onto the USB drive. And it has concluded I do not have enough space, but I can deselect the games and apps and screenshots. Notice it does not let me deselect my settings. It also does not let me select what specific save data. It's all the save data from all the games. Regardless of those limitations, this is not really a good way to back up your save files because it treats the USB file as a restore point for the entire contents of the hard drive. If I were to leave this screen as is and save the data to the thumb drive, and then I do the process to restore the data, it'll erase everything on the hard drive and replace it with everything on the thumb drive, so any downloaded games would be wiped out. Same with screenshots and videos. Perhaps if you have a humongous thumb drive big enough that you don't have to unselect some of the data, this process may work for you. You'll have a big humongous copy of the data, which would include all your save data. I did try plugging in an external hard drive, but it said it was unsupported. So for me, this is all a dead end. I'm gonna go back to where I was before and choose one of the save files and be done with it. So I'll go back to settings, saved data and game slash app settings, sync saved data, view sync status, I'm going to choose Astro's Playroom and choose Select Saved Data. 
right here it says to choose either the console file or the cloud file and it says after I do that it'll override the one I don't choose making them match again so I'm going to choose the console storage and say continue it's thinking like a Dreamcast and now it says it is synced and I can confirm that on this screen as well after restarting, I no longer saw the error message, so everything's good on my end. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.